Hey guys, I'm Paco the Realtor. 16 years of experience helped over 200 families buy and sell the American dream. I'm a local expert, I'm a professional, and I take care of my clients. I pride myself in educating my clients, and I'm also really sarcastic and a storyteller. So why don't you guys get to know me? What's up guys, this is Paco, Paco the Realtor, broker, owner of RX Real Estate. Uh, a local expert storyteller. Today we're talking about the buyer seminar we I am having on Friday at seven o'clock webinar, I should say. And um, do you know that uh, people make the mistake, very large mistake, of put, giving no value to the right realtor? What do I mean by that? Well, what happens when something goes wrong and you have no faith in the realtor? You took him because he was a discount. He was a friend of the family. Whatever. And now you need some some um, expertise, and he's not there. And we're going to talk about that. But first, let's talk about uh, the buyer seminar on um, on Friday at seven o'clock. It's a webinar uh, through Facebook Live. I'll be talking about the process of home buying, um, different types of loans. I'll be talking about the issues and fears people face, and what we think the market is going to do for buyers potentially in the next three to six months. So kind of a market forecast. So if you guys have any questions, let me know ahead of time and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I should be able to answer most of them because I have written down a ton of questions um, and then we can, uh, and hopefully I can get them all. If not, um, go ahead and ask them and I promise to answer them on that day. Uh, the other thing is I wanna talk about value. And the reason I bring up value today on Taco Tuesday with Paco is this. In the last two weeks, I've had people call me asking me for some advice. They are in real estate deals with other agents and they're asking me for advice and I have nothing to do with it. Now, legally, there's not a lot I can do um, as my daughter walks right through the street. Uh, legally, there's not a lot I can do because I'm not part of the transaction. I don't have a fiduciary obligation. Um, but in some instances, I just gave them a general direction of what to ask the agent to get the answers they needed. I wasn't really doing anything that uh, they wouldn't have figured out themselves, or more importantly, the agent wasn't doing them, should have been doing themselves. But what did these people have in, in, in common? They were put in a situation where things were not going as planned. The realtor had given them an answer they did not understand or think was correct because there was no value to that agent. They didn't think that agent had the right answer. And I tell everybody that my value is always, um, my value is uh, always known, seen, I guess seen, appreciated when things go bad. If nothing goes wrong with the transaction, then you don't see my real value. But when things go bad, the appraisal doesn't come in, it's an issue with the other uh, inspectors, handyman, um, uh, insurance, loan, whatever, that's when I'm a problem solver and that's when I help save the deals. Uh, but what happens is agents come in and they just give everything at a discount. If they're selling the house, they're like, oh, I'll do it for 3%, I'll do it for 4%. And you're, you, all you look at is, well, I'm saving $5,000, so it must be worth it. You pay what you get for it. You really do. Um, it's the same, to me, I could, re I could say it's the same as, for example, having a successful business and hiring an accountant versus a CPA. And as long as the IRS doesn't audit you, then you never have any issues. But the minute the IRS audits you, you wish you would have had that CPA, right, to represent you. It's the same thing here. Um, and so I think what happens is people don't put value a value, give the correct value to realtors. Now as a buyer, you should really pick the right bu um, buyer's agent to help you out because you're not paying them anyway. So you just need somebody who can help you guide and problem solve you and hold you accountable. But if you are selling your house, you should not go for the cheapest commission. You pay what you get for. You need to go for the problem solver, the person that's going to give you the most value by mark, giving you Selling the house for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. That's what should be happening. And all too often, these people are hiring agents at a discounted commission. Something goes wrong because there's no value because they just discounted their, their themselves. Then they go outside and they ask for questions. And they ask questions that they should be asking the realtor. 
There's no reason why these people should be calling me when they're in a transaction with another agent. But why are they? Because they don't have any perceived value to that agent. That agent just discounted the commission. Therefore, there is no value there. So do me a favor. I understand you want to save money. I get it. But is it worth it in the state of California with all the legalities we have and all the lawsuits we have? If you're a buyer, there should be no question that you have an agent because he's there to protect you. He's got a fiduciary obligation. If you're a seller, it's not always the cheapest commission. Trust me on this one. It depends on what you're looking for. And most of the time, if you're looking for a straight shooter, it's not gonna be the guy that discounts the commission. If somebody says, I'll do it at a discount, they're gonna be the first ones that are going to negotiate your the first offer and just tell you to accept it because they get it. there's no value. They just wanna sell it and move on. So. How do you figure out what agent has value and what agent doesn't have value? I always say this, interview them, ask them questions, figure out what they're going to say and do. That's how you do it. In other words, how are you gonna market my house? What makes you different? Tell me a few times that the shit hit the fan and how did you solve it? Um, how do you get your clients? Uh, how many, do you have any reviews? That kind of stuff, as opposed to, Oh, my cousin's brother's relative's neighbor said you're an agent. I should talk to you. Well, that's a good way to get a lead on an agent, but you still got to interview them. Interview the agent. Interview the agent. I cannot stress that enough, whether you're a buyer or seller. All right, guys. I hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. As always, this is Paco the Realtor and Taco Tuesday with Paco, local expert storyteller. See you guys on Therapy Thursday. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope you love the content. Subscribe below or follow me on social media. Just type Paco the Realtor.